crazy. The Bills dude. Mafia is the most like legit over the top fan base of all time. I almost signed with them my uh, free agency year. That's when I found out I had the old uh, tumor that got downgraded to a cyst in my brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went on the visit. Bills Mafia was welcoming me with open arms. They're like, "This is going to be a great match. This is going to be a great match." Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. I couldn't wait. And uh, I go. I get my C spine MRI from Stingers I've had in the past. And the doc pulls me in and says, "Hey, do you see this right here?" And it was like this little white mass down in my down in my brain. Yeah. I was like, "Yeah, I see it. What's what's that?" He's like, "You know, we're not talking about." He's like. Listen, I'm just gonna tell you. I'm just gonna tell you what we think we see. We think this could be a tumor, and we're not talking about football right now. We would like to. We could have our doctors look at it for you, and you can stay in the hotel a couple nights. We think that you know it'd probably be better if you go home. You know, around people you want to be around. And I'm thinking in my head, it's not really hitting me, right? But go home. You probably want to do it there if we can get some set up with the Redskins to take a, a better look from a, a, a neurologist to look at your brain because this could be a tumor. Might have to look at getting it removed and getting it uh, sent to a lab to see, like, you know, what it is. This and, is all hitting me while I'm on the visit with the bills. It's not registering with you? It When he's telling me it wasn't registering at the time, because I'm on, a, I'm on a, a free agent visit. Yeah. Preston Brown, he signed with the Bengals for, like, $5 million, and the uh, bills called right away, and I was fired up. Had a great meeting with Frazier, their DC, and uh, I was watching film with the linebacker coach, and we were going over a bunch of stuff, and they're like, hey, um... Your MRI and your medical stuffs came in. Can you come see us for a minute? And I was like, yeah, no doubt. And the linebacker coach was like, come back right after that, blah, blah, blah. I go and have this whole conversation. It's like, you know, it's starting to register like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Like, how 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 are they seeing this and the Redskins didn't see this? Yeah. So I go isn't back. That, to, isn't that what uh, Trent Williams Trent went through some Trent yeah, went through some similar stuff with that. like all the operating that they had to do on his head because he had to sit out a year. And I would love I, I talked to Trent about yeah. it of him coming on the pod and talking about it one day. But um, I would absolutely love you're kind of thinking podcast. you're kind of thinking about stuff like that. And you go back to the linebacker room and it's like, hey, you know, listen, we probably shouldn't. Your headspace probably in the right spot to watch film. And I'm like, yeah, if you don't mind, I'd just like to start figuring out flying back to D.C. to get this thing figured out. Fly back to D.C. Charo is on uh, visiting her family down the Philippines. So I don't tell Charo because like, I don't want to tell nobody. I don't want to tell my mom. I don't want to tell anybody until we know right. if it's actually dangerous or not. Redskins send me up. I fly back to D.C. that night. Go get a brain MRI right away. I'm walking up the stairs and the, uh, what do they call it? The uh, neuroradiologist is looking at my MRI. He's on the phone with our with our Redskins doctor. He's like, yeah, I mean, this could be you know, we, we might have to look at getting this thing removed. This is just what I'm seeing. We'll send it to our neuro, neuro. And I'm listening to the conversation. I come outside and then the person who walked me up knocks on the door. It's like, hey, Will's out here. He's like, all right, hey, I'll call you back. Hangs up the phone. He says, Will, what's going on, man? How you doing? Come on in, blah, blah, blah. And oh, I'm like, hey, I, I I overheard what you're saying. Like, just let me know what you see right here. So you he, you were like, hey, spare me the... Yeah, spare me any, yeah. any conversation that you're about to have with me. Yeah. Like, what's going on right here? And he's like, you know, we, we don't fully know what we have. But you see this outline, he's saying, you see all this stuff around this white mass that's in my cerebellum. And um, he's like, this could be, you know, you might be done playing football. Like, we might have to get this cut out. You know, you get a titanium plate put in, you might be able to still play. I'm like, look, I'm not, you don't have to, like, I'm not some person who's just going to put a helmet back on and run my head. And if, if I have some tumor that I got get removed, I'll be done playing football. Like, it, you're not, it's just, just tell me what you think it is. Right. And he's like, this could be a cancerous tumor, blah, blah, blah. Um, we'll know more tomorrow when we talk to the neurologist or the neuroscientists, whatever they're called. And I'm like, all right, I appreciate it. I called Dr. West when I leave. I'm talking to her and she's like, you know, uh, you could still play. I want you to know you'll still be able to play. It would probably take a year. And I'm like, doc, you know, if, if I got to get this thing removed and there's a metal titanium plate that's covering a part of my brain and... I have to sit out a year of football. Like my career is probably going to be done. Yeah. You know what I mean? What year is this for you? This time four or five? This is my year. I came to the Titans. Oh no. Yeah, shit. Yeah. This is the year. This is free agency for me when I it's came to the weird Titans. That I'm hearing about. I've heard about this roughly, but never in this detail. Right. And so I call my dad cause I want my dad to know I'm like, Hey, don't tell mom. And he's like, he's getting a little choked up. It's starting to bring back a little memories for the boy. Yeah. And so I go home and I'm like, yo, how am I going to, how am I going to break this news if this is what it is? If this is what they are thinking it is, how am I going to tell, you know, Charo and everybody else? 
And so I sleep that night. Obviously, don't sleep a lot. Wake up the next day. I tell my boy Trent Murphy because he had just signed with the Bills at that point, and he was fired up. He's texting his coaches because we were on the we were on Washington together. Mm, and I tell I tell him, and he starts messaging all of our doctors that we've known. Hey, how you know trying to do do some stuff for the boy? And I'm like, let's just wait to hear from the neuro the neurologist. The uh, the neurologist calls the next day. He's like over in Europe doing something. Some you know how everybody has all these connections. Right. He calls me. He's like, Will. I know you've probably been sweating it up all night, but I, I promise you, this is not a tumor. This is not cancerous. You just have a cyst. I believe that you've had this cyst in your brain the entire time since birth because it's in your cerebellum, which shows us that, uh, you know, you see that a lot in toddlers when they get something, but it's something that I went back in all your old MRIs with the uh, red skins. You can see it there and it is hard to identify. So, you know, try not to be upset with them or blah, blah, blah. This is a hard thing to find unless you go through all the frames. A bit outrageous that the Washington football team. Outrageous. Outrageous. I was, they, but Washington did take care of me. They were doing everything they can. They were like, you know, who they, knows they if they're. They could take care of you year one. Right, though. right. Who knows if they were backpedaling or not, but they were taking care of me at that time. Like, you know, they hated it for the boy. Like I'm close with all those guys. So I'm not going to sit there and throw a lot of shade at them. Um, but uh, there was animosity towards like, how has this been in old MRIs? And we don't know about this till now. Mm -hmm. Like I've seen this in all of your old MRIs dating back to 2014 from all your singer stuff and uh, concussion stuff. He's like, I believe that this has been here and it's barely grown. He's like, you're just going to have to get this checked out semi-annually, like once a, uh, once every six months or once a year. Um, but you're going to be fine. I just want you to know that. So thank God, huge dramatic story for an ending like that. I was fired up. Two days later, agent calls, hey, Titans want to bring you in on a visit. That's when I came to the Titans. Todd, I come in, Todd's like, hey, what happened with Buffalo? I kind of tell him. He's like, we'll get this checked out, blah, blah, blah. Todd's got, a beauty. Got cleared with the Titans. I wasn't cleared necessarily with Buffalo. Buffalo wanted to kind of wait it out and see what went on in free agency with me. Um, but uh, the Titans were like, we'll get this checked out for you. Where do you think you're good to go? And then that's when I signed with the Titans. And I actually just got my brain MRI last week. And there's been barely any growth, but he's like, it's still a cyst. Like you, you're fine. We'll go. And Todd says for peace of mind, I'll set you up with another meeting with a neurologist just to kind of look over it again. That's killer. So that's some stuff that goes on with the boy. Do you ever worry? Like, uh, do you, do you worry about it ever? Do you think about it ever? Or is it kind of like, Hey, when it comes up, they did get the scan. Yeah. The, when when uh, every year when I got to go get the scan and I go under, uh, for, to get the brain MRI, I always like, I'm always curious if it's grown or if there's actually something that we're just not, that somebody might be overlooking. There's yeah. always that kind of fear, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, to where yeah. it gets bad enough and you're just like, you know, Hey, this is something that we didn't see in the past, but I mean, I feel good that it hasn't been, hasn't been anything. I mean, the boy's been playing. Yeah. Playing well too, based on the highlight tape we released. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So. That's a story with the old, with the old sis. Damn. Yeah. That's how'd, crazy. Yeah. How'd they oh. come about? Oh, Bill's mafia. Yeah. They're crazy motherfuckers. Yeah. I, I mean, we've hit it. Like, that's, that's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. think, I think we've nailed it on the head. <laughs> Our guest is Devin White, correct? 